he gives me so many things to edit out. I think I've become pretty good editor because of the things you say that are not appropriate for <laughs> the internet. <laughs> we are building mosquito netting, finally. What? This is a really complicated, it's just, I think, a finicky thing, and it's one of those projects where you're gonna do it, and you're not sure which method you should do, so it's probably gonna screw up. <laughs> Stage two of the building, we're DIYing the screens. We watched a few videos and we're kind of melding some ideas into what we want. What we've decided to do is we bought the screen. We wanted to get the kind of screen that you can't, it's hard to see in on, but they didn't have that at the Home Depot in Canada and we didn't want to wait to order it online and I'm kind of sick of ordering things from the States. So we just kind of placed the whole sheet here and put with these magnets that we got at Home Depot. They're super strong. And we, we placed where we thought the magnets should be around this area and then snipped across to make the exact shape. The idea is we're gonna sew an edge of fabric along here and put little pockets to put these in. And then along here, we have this special weighted rope type thing that you put in drapery or something like this. I actually, I don't even know what it's used for, but the lady at Fabricland was crazy helpful. So because this is plastic, there's no magnets, we're gonna have it that, that weighted rope kind of in the bottom to have this hang and there's a special reason we use magnets which i'll let james explain so i wanted magnets so we wouldn't have to i wanted magnets so we wouldn't have to goof around with like velcro and velcro wear and stuff like that so i'm not getting any help with the sewing except my mom is allowing me the use of her sewing machine, which is why we're at her apartment building. I don't sew. I hand sew. I darn. We'll see how this goes. One thing I forgot to mention is before we took it off, we marked, I don't know if you can see, but we put little chalk marks so that I would know where the little pockets have to be. And this is the fabric we're using. We're gonna cut long strips of it and then fold it over and then create little pockets there. That scene is impossible to cut this thing straight or need to put my face really close to it. So I'm changing it up a bit. Ooh, that's hot. So the edges aren't totally even. So I mark it to be three inches with this and the chalk, and then I can go along and snip it. And that way when I fold it over, it's a nice even edge. Hopefully that works. Okay, now that I have the two pieces, so one of these things will fold over on the edge of that. In the certain spots, we will put a little pocket for the magnet. So what I'm gonna do now is use pins to sort of guide it along the edge and make sure I have enough for all of the spots. And of course, making sure my chalk markings are still there. Kind of wondering if I should iron it again. It'll probably make it easier. Here is where I pinned all the way for this one side. And I'll have to make the markings of where the things, the pockets that will be made. So this will slide in here. And then we'll do like little extra sewing to keep it in that spot. 
Uh, I'm not really familiar with this stuff, but it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of things, but I keep having to get up and get something and, oh, I forgot this, and oh, I'm kind of wondering if it would have been faster for me to do it by hand, but I am learning, and hopefully what I learn will help you. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of a wider stitch because that's what it's already set at. I screwed something up so bad, it took me about another half hour to figure out how to get the machine back to how I want it. So for some reason, it started magically doing the under stitching part in a different, in a white fab, in a white thread. I don't know what I did. I sewed all along here so I can pull out the pins that I did to hold it. And the idea is that these little magnets now, because I've created a little pocket, will just slide right in there. Ooh, perfect. Ah, amazing. And then where I've made chalk marks is where I'll slide it into. Boom. And then I'll just do a little stitching on each side and it will hold it in place. And then I'll go along and do the rest of them. I'm gonna put the magnets in now and see how that turns out. Okay, so I hand stitched the magnets into the three magnets into the spots there. You can actually even see that. So that's where the little magnets would be. Uh, I made sure too that the back side that would be attached to the metal would not be showing. That's where the knots are. I also made sure that when I slid the magnets in that they were not in front of the material. They were behind. I don't want a lot of things blocking uh, like the magnet to have to go through two layers of fabric versus just one, so it'll be more magnety. But I'm gonna go test this on the fridge. The side piece. Voila. That only took me two hours, but I'm sure the rest of it will go much more smoothly now that I kind of know what I'm doing. So I finished the second part of it. I talk about figuring stuff out. So I had twice as many magnets. There's three magnets here, there's six on this side. And it's about twice the length and it's curved. So I had to futz about with that. But it only took me one hour. Whereas the other stuff took me two. Let's see if I can do the rest in half an hour. So this is the weighted rope. So I just folded it again and then I stripped it. So I'll do sewing all the way along here. And then on the edges to kind of hold the rope in place. It's complete! Now we have to go test it out and make sure it fits. Five, four, Don't do that. three. The moment of truth. On the inside, yeah. right? Yeah. Good. Ah, kicking myself. I wanted to put one more there. But... Looks pretty awesome, Simba. You should be pretty happy about that. Look at that. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Nice. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get inside. No, let me do oh, that. Okay. That didn't peel off when we opened the door. It's awesome. Now we can sleep with the window open. Like all the way open. Yeah, totally. 